Now we're back in the Harvey Norman Lounge and if you need motivation to get off the couch and start running, you'll find our next guest a true inspiration. We're joined by ultra-marathon runner Olivier Lacroix. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, Marie. first up, uh, most of us struggle with one marathon. I, I piked out even of a half marathon. I will do it though one year. Uh, but your goal is to run 100 marathons by the year 2020. That's correct. That is a ridiculous amount. How close are you to that goal right now? I'm over three quarter. I did 76 marathons so far. And uh, yeah, Paris will be in 2020 my number 100. 76 marathons? 76 marathons. When did you start? In 2008. Wow. Yeah. That is an awful large amount of marathons. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really stunned. Um, in April, you're going to be running a really tough one too, aren't you? Yes, that's correct. Uh, across the Sahara? Yes, that's correct. The Marathon des Sables, which is part of my journey with a goal, long-term goal. So that will be counted at the one marathon. And it's 257 uh, ma um, kilometres uh, along seven days in the Sahara. Why? I have to ask you, why would you want to do this one? It sounds extreme. Just a new challenge, just a new challenge and uh, helping to raise more awareness for the charities that I'm running for, for mm -hmm. the Red Cross. So I wanted to go a little bit more public and make a big statement, just uh, helping them to, um, to raise more money. Well, I think so running across the Sahara, you're going to be doing just that, aren't that's you? That's correct. Yeah. So do you have a training schedule? What do you run on average per week? On average, I probably run about 70, 80 kilometres mm -hmm. and that's going to increase um, getting closer to the uh, race. The race is actually in 15, um, less than 55 days now, and um, that's going to uh, go to 120 kilometers actually every week. Wow, that's extraordinary. So what sort of preparation do you need to do and what sort of gear do you need? I've got um, some special um, uh, equipment or requirements that we have to get um, uh, to participate of the race. We've got a special bag. You transport all the food with you for seven days. The only thing that they provide to you is the water and the shelter. All the rice you need to carry with this with, with you. So what so do you what do you eat? What sort of things do you eat? Hello, I've been trying some uh, some unusual food, the dry freeze food. That's a new, I would say, uh, diet for me at the moment. It's okay. not a Michelin star, but I will say uh, it will be when I will be in the middle of the Sahara, I'm sure. It's surprisingly good some of some of it though, isn't there it? There are some very nice mm. New Zealand one. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, I mean, training, it's all about run running on the beach at the moment, doing a lot of hills and yeah, keep the endurance, endurance going. Really. How many shoes do you go through? Oh, a lot, <laughs> a lot. Uh, on average, the shoes will do about 500, 600 kilometers and I change and I rotate. I've got, I've got about 10, 10 pair of shoes that I, I keep rotating all the time. Mm. So like this, my feet always get used mm. to a different brand, different pair of shoes. So tell me a little bit more about the gear. I mean, what, what is this? So that's oh, actually... Oh we've, got someone, oh, we've got someone on screen there. So what's all this? Tell me what's happening there. So you've got the short, obviously, with all my sponsor, and I must say thank you to my sponsor. I've got this um, Sahara hat to protect you from the sun. Mm -hmm. You've got, um, obviously, protection for, um, I would say, uh, against the... the the dust and uh, everything that you see on the uniform is very light. It's been, I will say, provided by a, a special company who work with the um, Marathon des Sables. So everything is very, very, very light. Mm. Some unusual things that you will, that I never run with will be this, will be um, the um, venom, venom suction. Right. So because obviously it's not like in New Zealand, there will be snakes, there will be scorpions, there will be all those sort of things that you may meet maybe one day. So there is a lot of, uh, I will say, uh, security that we need to make sure that you carry with you right. all so the time. When you're out there, are you on your own in the Sahara or are there other people around you running? There, there will be other people around mm -hmm. me. Um, obviously there's a large group of people, a lot of runners. They all come with different goals, mm -hmm. but there's about 1,300 runners. And we all start at the same time. And after, it's depending on how fit you are, how mm. um, the, the, the goal that you have for the day. How, how much fluid do you need? Like, how much water do you need per day when you're running in those sort of conditions? Yeah, I mean, I've been listening from people who did the, the Marathon des Sables and reading a lot of books. And you gotta, I'm gonna drink about seven, between seven and eight liters of water every day. You're gonna have to make sure you yeah, do, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about, about the, your raising money for the Red Cross. Why are you doing this? So. I've, I've been looking for charity and uh, for me it was uh, very natural to think about the Red Cross. Uh, when I was uh, younger, 18 years old, I did a school trip in Spain and instead of uh, staying two weeks in Spain, uh, I, I was back in France within 48 hours because uh, the host um, was uh, providing some ch chocolate milk and all the milk um, fallen on me. Uh, 
So I had some lot of burns on my uh, on my uh, body, and oh. the first people who were helping me was the Red Cross, and I always keep this in my mind, and it's a way for me to give back to the charity and, and helping them. What a nice yeah, way to be able to give back. Yeah. Uh, you also a uh, volunteer for Achilles International as well. What's that involved? That's correct. Yeah. So it's helped to provide, I will say, uh, people with different sort of impairment to run and participate to uh, local and international international events with um, able bodies. So it's. For me, it's personally, it's a, it's a great feeling because you're helping to share your passion with somebody else who mm. probably doesn't see who's got any, f any any impairment with their body. So we can go to, um, I will say, uh, Rotorua, or we can go up to uh, New York as well, doing the New York Marathon. How great! What's been your favourite marathon so far? I will say the the favourite and uh, probably the hardest one will have been in Australia when I did the Ultra Trail Australia Marathon, which is 100k in the Blue Mountain. See, I don't understand why they call them a marathon when it's so much longer than a normal marathon too, isn't it? It's I mean, called ultra. Ultra, ultra, oh, ultra, that's ultra marathon. It's like, we'll just put two together and a bit and then we'll make yeah, you do yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So if people want to follow your journey or, or donate money to help, what do they need to do? Where do they go to? I've got a, a Red Cross uh, website, but the easier one will, that I can refer to will be the, uh, on Facebook. Just follow Holy Run 3.0 and we'll have all the information and I really appreciate the opportunity. Well, good luck because we are looking forward to following your progress. Best of luck and uh, I'm, I'm so impressed. It's, it's, it's inc an incredible thing that you're doing. Thank you Absolutely very much. incredible. Olivia, thank you so much. And for more inspiration to get fit, check out the Health Station VFit special cafe offer by calling the number on screen.